Hello and welcome to the Kate Gourmet. My name is Jeremy and today we'll be making hotto noodles. I'll show you how. Let's get started. You may be familiar with udon, which is a pretty large noodle in Japan, but did you know there's an even bigger and wider noodle than udon? It's called hotto. Hotto is very much a regional specialty. It's famous in the Five Lakes region of Yamanashi. That's the area right around Mount Fuji. Particularly around Kabaguchiko, you'll find many local restaurants serving up hotto. It's often served as hotto nabe. So much like other Japanese hot pots, it's cooked and served with a lot of vegetables. And in this case, it's cooked in a miso-based broth. If you can't get hotto noodles like this, you can try substituting it with tagatelli or a fresh udon. Before we get started, please give this video a like and subscribe for more easy comfort food recipes and small kitchen techniques just like this. I really appreciate the support. First, let's prepare the vegetables. Today, I'll be using kabocha, Japanese pumpkin, a carrot, daikon, that's a Japanese radish, haksai, or napa cabbage, shimeji mushrooms, and negi, a green onion. We will cut the kabocha into thick but still bite-sized chunks. We have to be careful with kabocha. If it's too thin or added too early, it has the tendency to just disintegrate in the soup. So pieces about this size added at the same time as the noodles should yield tender results. We can leave the skin on in this case, which is good news because it can sometimes be hard to cut off kabocha skin. Cut the hakusai, or napa cabbage. In this case, I will remove the green leafy parts from the white stem and cut them separately. I'll cut the greens a little larger and then the white stem a little smaller because they take longer to cook. The carrots and daikon we will prepare the same way. Peel the skin, cut in half, and then cut into half moon shapes. Just like this and just like this. The shimeji mushrooms we will prepare by removing the bottom and breaking apart. If you can't get shimeji mushrooms, shiitake also works very nicely in this recipe. The long green onion, so I'll cut off the top just to make room on my board, and then I'll slice on the bias. I'll cut up some smaller green onions, ko negi, and I'll save this as a topping for later. And finally, the abura age, or fried tofu. We will cut these into strips. We will also be using a little pork as meat, but we don't have to do anything to that. And for seasoning, we'll use about a tablespoon of dashi, and two tablespoons of miso. Great! With everything cut, let's get our hot pot started. In a large pot, add about seven cups of water, and a tablespoon of dashi. Turn on the heat. Give it a stir and let that dissolve. Okay, so we put our dashi in. We're gonna let that dissolve and simmer for a few minutes before we add our vegetables. Okay, so now that our dashi has come up to a simmer, I'm just going to skim off some of the foam that comes up. Let's add the vegetables. Okay, so we'll add in everything right now except for the kabocha. Also add in the abra ake and the meat. Okay, so let's simmer that for a few minutes until the carrot and the daikon are tender. And then we'll add the noodles. Alright, so this is looking beautiful. It's time to add in our noodles. So add in your hoto noodles. Stir the noodles in, make sure they don't stick together, and add in the kabocha. Okay, so the hoto noodles and kabocha are in. We'll simmer that for about 10 minutes, so let's come back then. That is looking really good. So let's add in our miso. 
If you've seen my other videos on miso soup or tonjiru, this process should be familiar. Add miso paste into a bowl or ladle and ladle in a little dashi. Stir that together until it is a smooth paste. And add it back into the pot. Give it all a mix to make sure it's incorporated. We'll just let that simmer for another couple minutes and serve. At this point, you might want to taste the broth, and if it's under seasoned, you can add a little soy sauce. So, this thing I picked up while I was at a restaurant near Kawaguchiko, they were selling them. It serves noodles with one side and then the soup with the other. So, this looks great. Let's serve. First, let's grab some noodles, vegetables, and then some soup with the other side. Okay, so there's our hoto. We'll top that with a little. Shichimi, seven spice, and some green onions. And that's it. So there it is, hoto. Let's give it a taste. Be careful, they are really long noodles. The noodles are so good, they are just, they're everything you could want from a noodle. They're slippery and have a nice texture to them. Really good. The soup has such great flavor. Let's try a kabocha. Mmm. The kabocha came out perfectly when put in at the same time as the noodles. They have a great texture to them. They didn't just disintegrate, so really good. Give Hoto Nabe a try. Especially if you can't make it to the Five Lakes region of Yamanashi, you can try Hoto Nabe at home. And again, if you can't get these exact noodles, switch them out for taglatelli, and I think you'll get a very good result. If you give Hoto a try, let me know how you like it in the comments below. If you've made any of the dishes that I've introduced on this channel, please feel free to tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see what you've come up with. Please give this video a like, and subscribe for more easy comfort food recipes and small kitchen techniques just like this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna go finish these noodles now.